All righty, guys. I want to welcome you guys to the Florida Coast to Coast Football Show. Listen, I got a bonus for you guys. I thought I was just going to have uh, Coach Goose from the 10U uh, Boynton Beach Bulldogs, but he brought his head coach along, Coach M.O.T. I want to welcome these guys to the show. You know, they had a big win you know, over Delray Rocks 10U, and I thought it was only fitting to bring them on to talk about it. Coach Goose, Coach M.O.T., what's good, my guys? All right, hanging in there. We feeling good, man. You know, we just trying to put it together right now. We feeling good right now. Oh, hey, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Hey, hey, hey coaches, man. Y'all gotta, uh, y'all gotta get in, uh, get in the camera, man. Hey, hey, my viewers can't see you. They can't see us. Oh, you might, oh, you might have to back, oh, you might have to back up a little bit that way, uh. Can you see now? Yeah, 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 yeah. We, uh, we, we good now. We, we good now, man. We good now. How, how y'all fellas doing, man? Everything good, man. All right, we hanging in there. Hey, hey, that, hey, that's good, man. That's good, man. Like I say, first, I want to thank you guys for coming on to the show, man. You know, whenever uh, you know anybody's making some noise, you know what I mean, around the state, you know, I, I try to bring them on and talk about some of the things that they're doing, man. That's good, man. We appreciate you for having us, man. That's 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 the point of what we do. What we do for sure, for sure, man. Hey, well, let's go ahead and get into it, man. So, you know, listen, man. You know, you know, you guys don't you know, be the very you know, quality Delray Rocks team, man. You know, you know how big, you know, you know was that game, uh, you know, to you guys? Well, uh, you know, it's a big game. Anytime you got two rivalries and uh, you know, everybody pretty much family playing against each other. Okay. okay. We kind of lose to the league. They really one of the big dogs of the league. So anytime you got that, you know, it's, it's definitely very rewarding to come out with a victory like that. Yeah, that, 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 man, that game, that that game shed light on the city, man. Like I say, you you football in Palm Beach County, it started with Delray and Boynton Beach, you know. Yeah, like, well, we, definitely. We, we one of the two uh, cities who carried this youth football. You know, it's big and Broward, it's big and Dade, but Delray and Boynton kind of you know bring the bring the city out when they play each other. So it was definitely big. Yeah, definitely most, big. Most, most 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 definitely, man. Hey, hey look, man. You know, you know, I used to live in a, a Boynton, man, a, a, a while back. You know, my kids used to go to that, uh, you know, you know, go used to go to summer camp. You know, at the um, at the community center right down Seacrest, man. So, so I, I know. I'm sorry. Is that Hester Center? Yeah, 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 yeah. My kid, my kids used to go to uh, summer camp over there, man. You know, hey, man, I I, I know that area very very well, man. Okay. The right there, you at the crib? Hey. That's the <laughs> Method. When you talk about Boynton, you say he's a hustler. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 like I say, man. So you know, hey, hey, I, I'm very, very familiar. With, I'm very, very familiar with Boynton, man. You know, I, 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 I love it over there, man. You know, you guys do a good job in terms of what you're doing. You know, with the youth football over there, man. And, and you know, like, like I said, it's definitely a, it's definitely a community atmosphere, man. And, and that's really definitely, you know, what you know, youth football is supposed to be about, man. It's supposed to be about the community and most definitely about the kids, man. So the spot, man. We try to do it for the kids. That's why we appreciate you for having us. Guys. At the end of the day, we bring light to the you football world. You bring light to the kids. So we definitely appreciate that, man. I, I, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it, man. So so listen, man. You know, I, I try to keep my I try to keep my ear to the street, coaches, man. You know, and I you know you know I got a lot of bugs coming to me, man. So you, you know, you guys are very very confident. You know, you know going into that game, now you know I guess that you know you saw something that you guys felt like you know you would be able to have. You know some success, man. So you know, without you know going in the you know into too much, man. You know, you know what did you see from that team? You know that you guys felt as though you know you would be able to go in and have some success. I mean, for one, let's now, we keep it all the way real. The first thing I'm gonna say is this: we had a scrimmage versus them the last time we had a real season. Okay, we got okay. our pets two days before the game. <laughs> okay, okay. So we can't buck out on the scrimmage. We never looked to do that, but okay. it's a partner. Anytime we do a scrimmage with them, it's a park to park. So yeah. from six, you with the thirteen, we get a little fundraiser. Both okay. parks make money. So we scrimmaged them two days into pass. They had been playing five or six games. Okay, okay. It's six, six at halftime. So, okay. so we and my, not to mention we came out of a flow league. So you yeah. had the older kids in the AYFL. Okay, okay. So we was in the flow with the younger kids. Okay. So we are new. We six, six with kids that ain't even. Way older than us. We mean four months older than us. So that's why our confidence came from knowing, like, man, you ain't doing nothing sporty. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't doing nothing sporty. Yeah. 
came from, man. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey that, that's what's up, man. So you guys had so you guys had a scrimmage against them, and uh, you know, so so you felt like you guys were able to, you know, able to have a little business with that, you know, playing against the older kids. So you know, on a on an even playing field, you knew you you guys knew you have some success. Right. We already knew once once the age rules line up, it, the gloves are off now. <laughs> for sure, man. For sure. Hey, listen, man. So you know, uh, you know, just to piggyback off the first question, man. You know, you know, you know, born in and in, in Delray, you know, uh, y'all neighbors, man. Y'all first cousins, man. You know, you know, pretty much war bright about the only thing that you know separate you know, you know those two <laughs> cities, man. So you know, how important you know you know is it you know, and how big is it you know. Not just to Boynton, but you know, just not just your program, really just to that community, man. You know, because for a long time, you know, you know, you know, Delray was really the household name. Like when I was growing up playing for a lot of the lakes, you know, all we really knew coming out of uh, you know Palm Beach was you know, Delray at the time. You know, and Boynton, you know, you know, came on. I mean, you guys have definitely you know put together a lot of success you know, over there. So how important is it, you know, even to the whole Boynton Beach community, you know, to, you know, to beat up on your first cousins when you can, man. Hey man, you you know how that is, coach. I mean, anytime you can play your brother, I mean, people always ask why you hit your brother that hard and you won't hit the guy down the street that hard. For sure, it's just so different. You know, you yeah. fight your brother hard and probably won't even fight when you go down the street. <laughs> but my brother can't do nothing wrong. Are we gonna fight? Yeah, so sir. that's a community. That that's the whole field throughout the community. I mean, when we get to a lot of their late, our kids might be a little bashful. Far as just saying getting in, down and dirty, yeah. but they ain't gonna never be bashful against Derry. That's family, <laughs> for sure. That's family. So that's through the whole neighborhood, through the whole community, like almost like that. Uh, what is that? Uh, Michigan and Ohio State. Yeah, like yeah. you got one job, beat Michigan. <laughs> that's it. And you, <laughs> you got one job, coach. When you get this job, you got one thing to do: beat them. Yeah, when yeah. I was through this, man, like I said, you speaking on the rivalry, what I've seen is this. You know, a lot of things played into the atmosphere being what it was okay. at to the park on Saturday. Okay, okay. We went from the Wildcats the last couple of years. Yeah. Now we went back to our bread and butter, going back to our tradition, going to that black and red to the Bulldogs. Okay. So when we did that, we brought people out who ain't came to a game at to that park at Ezel in years. Yeah. And guess what? Yeah. Our kids going to the barbershop in Boynton, hey, man, y'all better beat them boys. You know, we ain't never lose to dairy. Oh, y'all better do this. So now it, it kind of broke that back. You know what it yeah. means to when you play dairy Boynton, they got it vice versa. They of people course. in their city were saying, hey, y'all got to beat Boynton. Y'all got to beat Boynton. <laughs> so it just brought that atmosphere back from when I grew up playing for the board. I was like, hey, we dairy week? Hey, man. I don't care whatever happened last week. A lot of late first part, part, yeah, part yeah, yeah. Hey man, go out there and beat like, Derry Rocks. One job, I don't care how it happened, just get a W. Hey. Yeah, and that's pretty much what the atmosphere was, what it was. Man, we came in at eight o'clock in the morning. Man, we had we had team breakfast at eight o'clock okay. at our park. These are Heather Center. But All I right. tell you, wouldn't know what a park yet. That's what our kids deserve, man. Yeah. I can't deserve that type of atmosphere. No water part is jam packed, standing room only at eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I can't deserve that. Get most definitely, up. most definitely, most definitely, man. You know, and, and I one hundred percent agree with you, man. I, I think that kids deserve that period. You know, I tell people all the time, man. I cannot repay you football for the impact that it's had on my life as a kid. You know, as a younger adult. You know, you know I mean, as an adult with the, you know with a family, my you know my boys. You know, you know, playing football. It's just something about the whole youth football atmosphere that I think that you know sometimes people get in these Facebook groups and they, you know, you know, they kind of think that that's really all youth football is about, and they don't step back and look at the bigger picture. You know, and when you say your kids deserve that, man, I, I wholeheartedly agree, man. You know, these kids really, you know, go out you know, week in, week out, you know, and put it on the line, man, and they really do take this stuff serious. So whatever we can do as adults. You know, to encourage them to continue to play this game at a high level. I mean, you know, I think it's our obligation to do that. Right. Yeah. I really, I really agree with you, man. I'm gonna say this to your question. I don't feel like our staff get enough credit for what we do for the kids. Okay. When I'm talking about game nights, bowling alley, you know, man, the tournaments at the hotel, different things like that, Fun Depot, like we doing things with the kids outside of that, not on top of. You know, this man right here is a head coach, and he 
going to these kids, doing different things. So you a second dad at this point. Of course. You might not want to listen to mom, but to some of them, you might be the first daddy. I mean, if we been a hundred. Well, yeah, you the first dad. <laughs> Find that listen to the phone, but guess what? Coach Mike got to pull up, or I got to pull up, and guess what? Hey, man, you know what time it is. Man. You know what it is, because Coach controls that playing time. So, for sure. I got a lot of weight. Like, Daddy might tell me he ain't doing his homework. Coach, get it. Straight up. I'm the coach, but guess what? He know if he don't do what I say, he can't play. So, you might listen to me more than you listen to your own daddy. Which is true yeah. in a lot of situations. And a lot of that be behind the scenes. I'm a school teacher, so when it comes to that, you know, kids need the extra help, kids need the extra prep. So it's like we we doing stuff behind the scenes that ain't never even been seen. Now I'm sitting in this class with students making sure they make up the test, make, talking to counselors, talking to the principals about what's going on with these kids. So like a lot of that, that kind of get looked over, but that's what we're really doing out here, you know? Yeah. And, and I want people to understand that it ain't just about the, the wins and the X's and the no's. Man, we get calls 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night. You know, hey, man, I don't know what to do with them. Let me talk to them. I got them. And I'm going to get them tomorrow. If I got to come up there, I'm going to do that too. Yeah. But that's what that's what, that's what the youth football coaches you talking about right now. When you said you don't know what you would have been, you know what I mean, what you have experienced in your in your past. Yeah, all right, man. Listen, man, I got, I got homeboys. You know what I mean? I still keep in contact with, man. You know, this very day that I played football with 30 years ago, man. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. I do mean, that all the time. Yeah, man, it, it's just something, you know, it, when you play ball, man, you know, it's just something about that atmosphere, just something about right. that environment, man. It, you know, I, I, can't, I can't put it into words, man, you know what I mean? And, and you know, when you got a passion for it, you got a passion for it. <laughs>